Dying Light is a teachable perk from Michael Myers that offers mediocre gen slowdown and an added drawback of buffing the obsession in a couple ways. Because of this, it's usually found at the bottom of most perk tier lists, and some people have even gone so far as to call it a survivor perk. I wanted to find out if this perk is ever actually worth using, so over the course of a few days on my stream, I set up an experiment to get to the bottom of this. I played 31 games, half of them with Dying Light, half of them without it. For all the games, I played as the Demogorgon, who is a pretty fair middle-of-the-road kind of killer that doesn't have any stupid gimmicks or add-ons to skew the results. The rest of the build was pretty basic, but I did swap out the fourth perk a couple of times, which I'll soon talk about. After my research, I made discoveries in three main categories how it felt to use Dying Light, what the hard stats have to say about the performance, and the opportunity cost of using Dying Light. So to start out with the feeling of using Dying Light, it wasn't super noticeable. Every now and then I'd come across a gen that was close to 99 and I'd be like, yeah, that pops without Dying Light. Or the inverse situation of, man, if I had Dying Light, that wouldn't have popped. Even though I might have played around it sometimes to get stacks, it usually wasn't the main part of my game plan and it definitely never felt like Dying Light ever won me the game. On the topic of playing for stacks, I occasionally had a bit of save the best for last syndrome, where I'd be upset with finding the obsession and avoid that chase, even if it was clearly the best decision to pursue that. On the other hand, if it was the first chase of the game, and this also happened a lot too, it always felt too costly going to search for someone else. Getting hooks at the beginning was always more important than just going for puny little stacks. And don't get me wrong though, the slowdown gets pretty good in the longer games, but if I've already built up 7 or 8 hooks and the game isn't over, I'm probably gonna win anyway. It just feels like the perk's main effect builds up way too slowly for it to matter that much. What seemed to matter more was being able to slow the game down initially. I started adding in early game perks like Lethal Pursuer or Corrupt Intervention to help give myself a buffer and start building up those stacks early on. These were perks that could actually win me the game just by having them, and ultimately, they were way more impactful than Dying Light. And before I forget to talk about the obsession buffs that Dying Light for some reason drags along, I think there was only one time in all of the matches where I was like, hey, they healed faster than I thought. Honestly, it just didn't feel like it was that big of a deal in most scenarios, and it makes sense that it usually isn't worth the survivor team reserving all the boosted actions just for the obsession to get value, so it wouldn't be happening all the time. However infrequent though, it is annoying when your own perk stings you back, but either way, these days survivors are already bringing an assortment of healing perks and medkits anyway. Just because it felt like the perk wasn't doing a lot for me in-game, doesn't mean that was necessarily true. I tracked all of my matches in a spreadsheet so I could validate that claim with some hard facts. So like I said before, I played 31 games, half with Dying Light, half with that. In the 15 games I played with Dying Light, the average number of gens completed by the survivors was 3.4 something. Without it, they actually completed a few more at 3.5 whatever. Now it's not such a huge difference, but how did that translate to getting hooks? I actually got slightly more hooks per game with Dying Light, but if I take that as a separate number from hook stages, they were basically equal. As we all know though, Dead by Daylight doesn't really care about hook stages as a win condition, right? So I'm sure you're clamoring to know what the kill counts looked like, and yeah, they were the same too. Sure this isn't that big of a sample size, but with the data being so close, it does seem to back up my feeling that Dying Light is basically a non-factor. So what are some things that could become factors? What are we missing out on by having Dying Light in that perk slot? Deadlock is an amazing perk that requires literally zero thought, just equip it and get value. So much value, in fact, that it passively gives just as much slowdown as Dying Light would if you somehow had 9 stacks for the entire game. Pain Res just exists. Surge might be a little bit more map dependent, but it does feel more punchy and impactful in close games where you need to prevent a progress gen from popping right now. For hit and run killers, Thanatophobia comes online faster and potentially keeps survivors busy if they want to heal out of it or guarantees extra lethality if they don't. Speaking of lethality, I would certainly forsake Dying Light for a strong chase perk like Coup de Grasse or fully steer into the skid and become friends with Mr. Edward. These are all perks that could win you games that Dying Light probably will not. In conclusion, does below average slowdown and buffing a survivor make Dying Light a survivor perk? Well, kinda, yeah. With this perk, a killer would technically be making the game a little easier for survivors than if they'd taken a stronger perk. It is, however, better than nothing, but that's not really an excuse for this perk to be this sad. I'd love to see Dying Light get spiced up a little bit, remove the obsession-only interactions, maybe buff the numbers per stack, and Dying Light could actually become a useful perk someday. For the rest of this video, I want to highlight a couple games. One of them with Dying Light, where I seemingly got a lot of value, and one without Dying Light, where having the perk or not really didn't matter. So for this first one, the question I'm wondering is, did I need Dying Light to win? You can be the judge. Hello? 
Sprint Borsto. Okay, well I tried. Looping with friends, I see. Let's do it. Who's the obsession? Perfect. Nancy, 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 Nancy. You fucking bitch, dude. Alright, we still get it quick. They're working on that top one. Do I contest that? I'm not going to. can't window tech me, bro. I, like, literally invented that shit. Actually, you need to do it on the other side. If we're doing that... Power right next to you? No? Yikes. Oh, it's, that's right there? The fact that that pallet exists... Okay, dude, you've gotta relax. Yeah, Windows player for sure. Like, they're not even trying to loop. I don't mind Windows. Like, I use Windows and I, I use it to try to loop. They're just fucking running at a thing and pressing spacebar on it. Wow. You don't know the map. She had plenty of time to get to the pallet. And she fucked it. Don't know what they're doing. I doubt they would have found these gens upstairs. Okay, I've been wrong before. Holy shit, you're fast. Um, if I get a chance, I'm gonna... No, dude, they're done healing already. I'm still going for this. I don't want the obsession. I need my stacks. What the fuck? Bro! Was there another person right here, by the way? That's a totem. Oh, no. It's all over. If you saw what I saw, you'd think there was a person, too. God, they don't look behind at all. They don't look behind at all! Okay, Jen, Jen, Jen. Yikes. Let's just check this top. It's Nancy again, bro. Why is your shit always up? I mean, we can just ignore you, I guess. That's how that works. Technically, I should tunnel you, but I'm not going to. <sighs> They're not even running it well, dude. Attack me. She did the thing. Kind of. Oh my god, I got stuck! Nancy not taking a hit. Okay, so they finished that one, and Nancy finished hers, pretty much. They're all across- Bro! Ha! <laughs> okay. Chase them through the wall, maybe. That's fine. That's totally fine, guys. I'll take the states. I will take the states. Nancy? Get your sprint burst. Bro, this girl is so annoying. Nice. Ignore her. I just want her to stop healing. She's close. She's so... Oh, no. She can finish. She could literally finish right there. She fucked it. Half a penty now? As far as slowdown? Yeah. No, they're hurting. They're hurting for sure. Oh, look. If it isn't Sprint Bursto. If I leave you alone. Yeah. 
This gen would be a bit further, I think. Nothing on barbecue. Really? What are these? They're going up? Can we cut you off? Hi, Nancy. Oh, you don't have sprint burst up. That's crazy. This would be done without dying light. This would literally be done. Difficult match, but uh... Possible dying light saved me, Miss Thang. In this next match without dying light, I struggled, and I don't think having the perk would have saved it. Or two? And you're gonna run me in corrupt land, good for you. Yep, exactly how I planned it. Give her a little yes sir, that was all planned. Oh, good life. Bad camp pallet. Holy, she's fast. Is there someone here? Take it. Her pathing is not shark pathing. Hello, it's me, returning to hook. They got the heal off. Bro, if you tell me you have life, or balanced, or some stupid shit. What? Where are the scratches? Where are your scratches? Miss Lucky Break Kimura? Uh, nothing on barbecue. There might have been one over there diagonal on barbecue, actually. Hard to tell. The fuck is this? I lost them. Alright. A lot of wasted time here. They've gotten some momentum back. They've all healed. Not good. They're stealthing me out, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was she the one with life? Did, did I force her to burn it? I'd be sick. Big if true. But like, literally, they just did a whole other gen in the meantime. Bro! Okay, I'm losing my mind. Yeah, don't you look stupid, bitch. And I don't know, I haven't been seeing anything on barbecue. Holy shit, this thing- <gasps> What?! This thing next to me is like 90%. Oh my god. Adrenaline check? I failed the adrenaline check, dude. I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Who the fuck are you, bro? Stealth Supreme? Pimping out all your girls with distortion? I can't believe that, dude. I literally cannot believe that. Would Dying Light have helped? Who knows? Oh, hey, now I see people. That's crazy. That's insane, man. Okay, we see them coming in. Closing the gap. They're scared to be the person to approach. They've got to do it. Their person healed. Oh, time's running out. Time's running out. They got to make a play. Let's see, this is why. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, I can just hit a little slug my balls real quick. Nope. I've seen closer pallets. Imagine if I had save. <laughs> I could chase that for another one, but I think we'll just take this. But man, was that tough. So what do you guys think about Dying Light? Is it a survivor perk? And what other perks should I look at? Let me know, and maybe I'll make a video about those too.